Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 25th. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid, and I'm sorry that I have to keep repeating that. We do have a lot of people that don't understand. These daily vibes are timeless. One day it might resonate for this person, tomorrow it might resonate for you, or the next day, or the next day. This, this reading is an energy that is coming in that I am picking up on, okay? Um, I have started the March 1st through the March 7th readings. Those will be completed over the next two days or three days. Um, if you have booked a reading with me, if you booked a reading with me and you have not sent me an email, uh, the when you book it does say that you need to send me an email so you need to send me an email to proceed so go ahead and send that email if you have booked on the booking site after you have booked so what do we have for a message today what do we have for a message today Judgment. Judgment. So ju judgment is truths revealed. So some sort of truths are going to be revealed. This is a judgment call. This is a wake-up call. This is an epiphany. Somebody's going to be making a judgment call. The truth is coming out in some sort of situation. This is becoming aware of the truth. So somebody's going to be becoming aware. This is a major awakening of some sort. Um, <laughs> Two of Swords. Now, Two of Swords is held back by fear. Somebody has been held back by fear. They've been unable to see the truth. They've been blocking the truth, but the truth is coming out. The truth has been blocked, but the truth is going to come out because judgment is the end of things, is the end of a trial. Somebody has been blocking the truth, but they can't block, you can't block the truth forever. Anyhow, so that is the end of a trial. The verdict is in, <laughs> right? Um, making a life-changing decision. Somebody has been blocking something. They may have been blocked or they have been blocking the truth. Somebody has been blocking the truth. Ooh, five of blades. So the five of blades, five of swords, that's a battle. This is a power struggle. Somebody has been struggling, struggling to win at all costs. This is somebody that probably has a very big ego, that likes to be in control, that is unwilling. This is a fight to the end, okay? It's a fight to the bitter end, right? This is somebody that is willing to die alone to prove a point. You know, this is somebody that is willing to, you know, deal with the consequences to prove um, who they are. You know, I'm the winner. I'm the strongest one here. You know, so we got somebody here that is uh, very combative by the looks of things. Now, this is being held accountable for action. So somebody's going to be held accountable for their actions. There could be a fight. There could be a fight. There could be a struggle of some sort. There could be a battle. Okay. The law could get involved. There is karma here as well. Judgment is a card of karma. It's also the card of law. So there, the law could be getting involved. Could be the karmic law. You know, the universal law. But anyway. Um, Knight of Coins. Now, the Knight of Coins is about focusing on goals. Being practical. Being realistic. Putting in a lot of effort. Somebody is going to be putting in effort. They're going to—they're waking up. Somebody is going through some. They're going to get a wake-up call. Put it that way. They've been blocking the truth. Now they're now maybe they are. Maybe they've gotten some sort of awakening. They've gotten some sort of epiphany, or maybe they've gotten karma for their, you know, desire to control. They're fighting. Maybe they've gotten some karma. Maybe the law has gotten involved. You know, anyhow, this is about inability to see the truth. Now they're seeing the truth. This is going down a path to stability. This is, this is somebody that is being very, very practical. After they've received some sort of, I don't know, 
truth or awakening or whatever it was, they are taking an opportunity. Okay, this is a big opportunity for stability. So the Knight of Pentacles is, well, it's, oh, somebody that puts in effort. They put in, oh, this is somebody that works hard and is not in a hurry. This is somebody that is not in a hurry to, and I got this card fell out and it's reversed, it's the devil reversed. So they're not, this person's not in a hurry. They're just being practical. They're being real. You know, they're building a foundation, a strong foundation. Somebody is, is I feel like they've gotten some sort of a wake-up call or they've gotten an epiphany that is now moving them in a direction towards stability. They're taking back control of the, themselves. Okay, they're letting go of their ego. We have the devil reverse that's letting go of the shadow. You know, it's seeing the light. Okay, um severing ties, breaking free from something. I feel like there's some sort of, um, well, it's taking back control. Somebody is taking back control. They're finding their focus. You know, they're letting something go that has controlled them for a long time. They were very egotistical. Somebody has been in their ego. Okay, we got ego here, we got ego here, but they're, and they're mirroring each other. And this is two sides. Okay, this is duality. So somebody has definitely been going back and forth and they've been, you know, unaware of the truth. They haven't been able to see the truth because of their ego, because of their what need and desire to control and to win at all costs. But now we got, now I feel like this person is, uh, has gone through something, has gone through some karma or they've just woken up, okay? And now they they see an opportunity for stability, okay? And they are coming out of their shadow. They're coming out of darkness, okay? They're starting to see something differently, okay? And they're going to be making a life-changing decision because decision. if you think about judgment at the end of a trial, at the end of a court case, it's a life-changing decision whichever way you go. Okay, so this is a life-changing decision that is being made. There's been a level of indecision. And, it, there's, and this person has been so undecided because they were struggling with their desire to win. And they didn't care who they hurt as long as they won. Okay, but I feel like that was obviously all their ego. And now they've gotten some sort of, you know, awakening, whether it's karma or whatnot. Anyhow, the devil reversed is breaking free from a toxic situation. It's letting go. It's severing ties. It's being real. It's being practical. So the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that is um, accepting responsibility. This is accepting and this is responsibility. Somebody's going to be accepting responsibility for their, you know, maybe it's toxic behavior or something like that or their ego or whatever. This is shedding ego it's coming out of darkness so somebody's coming out of a dark period um three of wands get prepared get prepared for an arrival whoever this person is they're hoping they're hoping for the best you know they're they've they've uh i feel like they're getting ready to embark on a journey of some sort They've been, they've been through um, their indecisiveness. They've already made their choice, and now they're ready. They're ready for a better future. They're ready to, to face their, I don't know if it's face their demons, face judgment. They're ready to be judged. I do feel like we have somebody here that is ready to be judged, and I feel like this person is going to tell the truth. You know, after they've been unable to tell the truth, because of their ego, you know, and they're hoping for the best. So we do, I do think that you need to get prepared. Maybe you need to get prepared for an arrival or, or a departure with the Three of Wands. Um, there is something either arriving or leaving could go either way. Um, I feel like this has been a long time coming. It has been a long time coming. This is an awakening. 
this is an awakening of some sort. We have somebody here that has has uh, been thinking a lot. They have been thinking a lot. They've been thinking about the past. They've been because okay, this is thinking. This is the past. Okay, they've been, they've been in a period of isolation, and they've they're starting to realize they're starting to realize their goals. This is a, it's been a time of reidentification. I feel like we have somebody that has definitely gone through some sort of awakening. I feel like they were wearing a mask, they were in denial, they were in their ego, and now they've become enlightened in some way. And they may want forgiveness because judgment is a card of forgiveness. Somebody may be expressing, you know, uh, what's the word for it? Remorse. And I don't, I don't think I've ever said that in a reading. Um, I don't know. They may, they may be expressing, you know. But it's hard. It's really hard to do that. So I don't know. There could be an apology with the Knight of Coins. It could be. Uh, we may have somebody that has been very fearful as well. Extremely fearful. This is held back by fear. Maybe they've been held back by fear of judgment. You know? And, that, and when you're in your ego, when you're in your ego, that judgment is the most fearful thing. What is everybody going to say? You know, what's the boss going to say? What's, what's everybody going to say? You know? So I do think that that fear of being judged, you know, or having to accept responsibility has been in the way, okay? But anyhow, I do see that somebody has become enlightened and there's probably going to be a reconnection here of some sort. We have somebody here that uh, has, has made a decision or they're making a decision and they're going to be acting with integrity because... They're breaking free. They're break, breaking free from that old, their ego. They're breaking free from that old behavior. They're severing ties from something, you know, because it feels like they've been thinking so much about somebody that they hurt because that five of swords, somebody that they hurt. Um, anyhow. Get prepared for an arrival. Somebody has been hiding they have not, probably not been communicating. They have not been because they've been held back by fear. I do feel like there's going to be some sort of decision that is made that is very real and very practical. Somebody's going to be taking control, facing their fears. And making a move with that three of wands. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. Ready to... I feel like it's a reconnection of some sort. Um, ten of wands. Overwhelmed. We got somebody here that is overwhelmed. <sighs> they're carrying a heavy burden. We got somebody here that is carrying a heavy burden and it's killing them. It is killing them. And they, they have to let it go. They have to let it go. They have to find a way to drop this burden that they have been carrying. Because it feels like, you know, it feels like they've, they've done something. It feels like they've done something. I don't know. It feels like it's it's very. Well, I keep looking at that five of swords. It's it's like painful. Okay, they've hurt somebody really, really, really bad. And whoever this person is that they hurt, cause they cause this person to not trust. They cause this person to not trust, to block their emotions, to live in fear. They've caused somebody else to live in fear. And that is, that, is, that is a heavy thing to carry when you cause somebody that kind of pain. So anyway, I do feel like we have some... So There could be a reconciliation here for some of you with that judgment card. Somebody may want another chance and may be asking for forgiveness because they want to release a burden. You know, they want balance in their life. So 
somebody has really been reflecting. They have been reflecting on the pain that they have caused. They have. Page of Swords. So yeah, there is a message that is coming. There is a message that is coming. It may not be what you're hoping to hear. There could be a conflict that is coming. There could be. We may have somebody that, you know, is fighting. I'm going to change the story now. Okay? This person is fighting. They're fighting. They want to win at all costs. The law comes in and blocks them. Okay? And they could get taken down. This is somebody's trying to prove something. We got trying to prove something here and trying to prove something here. And somebody is trying to prove something. They may get a wake up call. This is a wake up call. Somebody's getting a wake up call. And maybe this is the same story. Maybe somebody has got a wake up call. Maybe they have gotten some karma. Maybe they have had a permanent loss. And I say that because a minute ago I had a tower on the bottom. And, but I've shuffled since then. But anyhow, um, there is going to be a message that is coming. It may not be what you want to hear. We have somebody here that uh, may also be retreating. This person may be retreating. They may be overwhelmed. They may be trying to do too much. They may make a sudden decision. They may make a sudden decision to leave something and go by themselves. They've been torn. They've been fighting with somebody. Maybe it's the same story. I'm just giving you another tidbit. They've been fighting with... Because this is a choice between two options. Okay? It is. Anyhow, um, so somebody has been fighting a lot. They're choosing to be alone. They're choosing to let go of this burden. Okay? Because that is part of preparation. They may be getting prepared. They may be getting prepared to communicate with somebody from their past. Okay? Um, they need to sever ties with the toxic situation that they're fighting with right now. But they may have not been able to sever ties with that toxic situation because of their ego and their pride, you know? They had something to prove. Maybe they had something to prove, you know, because of their ego. Anyhow, um, there is a chance for reconciliation here. There's a chance for acceptance. And there is a life-changing decision that is being made right now. I do feel like this is the end of a situation with a judgment card. You think about judgment day, that is the end. It is the end. It's where the decision is made. Somebody is making a life-changing decision, and it has to do with two options. Um, somebody has been burying themselves with responsibilities. Uh, they've been trying to prove something. Maybe it's, you know, we already talked about this. But now they're, right now, they're getting prepared. They're getting to pre prepared, prepared to take a journey. They're getting prepared to uh, make an offer someplace else but they have to sever ties from something else at first and maybe it's their ego um but there is a message that is coming this person is watching they are watching they're watching right now they're watching um, they have a hard time communicating and they're still having a hard time communicating because of their ego this is a hard time communicating ego but they're very curious this person is curious they're watching they want to they want to. They're not moving very fast at all. They're not moving very fast because right now they're in a stage of releasing something. Okay? And they may need to be alone for a little while. They may need to make plans because the hermit is about planning. And this is a painful, stressful decision to be honest, to be truthful. So somebody is going through a major awakening. They're going, they're, they're, they're accepting the truth. They're seeing the truth. Um, but it, but it's really hard to face your fears. If you think about the devil, the devil is all about fear. Ego is fear, fear of what everybody else is going to say. If you are worried about what anybody else is going to say about your life decisions, then that is your ego. So anyhow, this is about letting go of a burden that somebody has been carrying trying to prove something to, I don't know, somebody from their past, they're trying to prove a point, you know. Anyhow, you get prepared for um, a mess.
message that you may not want to hear. Okay, it may be a message or an awakening or an epiphany that changes something because of that judgment card. This is a, this is a life changing decision is being made to drop something. Something is being dropped. Somebody has been carrying. They've been blocking the truth. They haven't been able to. They haven't been able to see the truth. They haven't been able to. But now they're going to wake up and they're going to be practical and they're going to be real and they're severing ties with this toxic situation. And they're getting prepared for happiness. And they're hoping and praying. I feel like somebody's hoping and praying for a reconciliation with somebody from the past. I mean, I don't know, but that's what it looks like to me. Good luck.